Good Day Dakota. It's 621. Welcome back. Well, a recovery community center will be opening up next week. And new this morning, Nikki Johnson met with the founder of The Hub to learn why these resources are so important right now. Good morning, Nikki. Good morning, Josh. Yeah, we're learning from the addiction experts that the isolation brought on by the pandemic is increasing the risk of relapse among alcohol and drug addicts. And for those in recovery from drugs and alcohol, The Hub is a safe place to gather with like-minded friends. Judith Roberts is the founder of Hope Manor Sober Living Homes and The Hub. She says connection is key during COVID. That's why they're taking all the precautions to keep people safe during the pandemic. We will follow all of the county and state requirements, whatever they may be at whatever level. We have disinfectant captains and we are trying to keep people safe. Because people need to connect. Isolation is a huge part of alcoholism and addiction. It can be very dangerous. So it's very, very important to connect and to have fellowship. Back in May, KX News reported on the hub and how Judith Roberts' husband cashed in his retirement in order to make the first down payment on the building where Savvy Skate and Snow was located. They saw a need and wanted to fill it. Some of the needs in the community, especially the recovery community, are places to meet and gather. Anytime we have a slightly large group, more than 45, we are having to rent areas in the community, and that is not cheap. Phase one of the hub has a small meeting room, a fireplace and lounge area, a full coffee bar, and a recovery gift store, a place to sit with laptops and a charging station, as well as offices for both Hope Manor and the hub, and an on-site therapist, as well as the National Sober Living Association. Phase two will feature a large meeting room for workshops and many conventions. Fellowship, friends, connection, and resources are all critical components to overcoming addiction. And the hub safely offers all of that for people who are in recovery. Robert says one of the things that makes the hub so special is some of the furniture was passed down from her friends and her family along the way. And none of this would be possible without the help of Hope Manor alumni. Josh, the hub is exactly what the recovery community needs right now. And phase two should be done by New Year's Eve just in time to celebrate. Yeah, it's so cool that they're opening this up, giving people resources, a place to connect. One thing I was noticing, Nikki, speaking of the furniture, is just how, how nice the interior design. It's cozy. It's trendy. It looks like just really cool to sit there. Yeah, I love it. You know, some of that furniture she said that her dad sent over before he passed away from Australia. So wow. it's shipped overseas. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely a great thing for our community. Thank you, Nikki. You bet.